Okay, guys, it's 7 10 in the evening. My name is Johan and I am a diamond. Thank you so much for attending today. Um, uh, uh, you know, it, today's uh, topic is this Ruby Cell Business Starter Training. But really, what that we're talking about is what to do every day. Okay, so uh, we're gonna get started and uh, I'm just gonna turn this music off here. Okay, so welcome everyone. Uh, as you guys know, uh, my name is Johan and I'm a diamond here in Ruby Cell. Uh, uh, you know, and uh, today we're going to talk about business starter training. What to do every day. Once you've started your business in Ruby Cell, uh, you know, you're probably going to be thinking about actually what do I do every day? You know, like, I mean, I've got an agent set or I've got, I'm an agent or I'm a silver or whatever. And it's very important for us to be clear about actually what we should be getting done every day okay so today we're going to talk about two main things okay two main things the first thing is we're going to talk about the eight steps of success and the second thing we're going to talk about is the compensation plan now the eight steps of success is basically what we need to do every day in order to become successful in ruby cell that's right. Uh, there are eight things that you've got to do. And uh, these things are actually not new. Uh, these are things that we've actually been, um, uh, it's something that people have been doing in their lives for many, many years, even before me. And, uh, you know, we've put it together and I'm going to go through it one by one and explain to you why we need to go through these things and how it's going to lead you and your life to go upward and forward only. Okay. The second thing we're going to do is talk about the compensation plan. We're only going to talk about agent, silver, and gold. And it's going to be, uh, it's really targeted uh, to be as simple as possible. So uh, we're not going to have all the details inside, but it is going to be an introduction to uh, how, how you're going to, um, you know, how you're going to, uh, you can have an idea on how it works. Okay. So let's just dive right into it. The eight steps of success. This is the complete list of the eight things that we've got to do now. I'm going to make sure there's eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's nine here. Actually, uh, uh, number, uh, there's actually two that's meant to be combined, you know, but uh, later we'll have eight, okay? So, uh, you know, there's eight things. I'm going to go through one by one so that you really uh, understand why we need to do each of them, okay? So, the first one is read 30 minutes a day, okay? Now, the first one, as soon as I talk about this, people are like, oh my God, I don't remember the last time I read a book. And guys, the first thing you've got to, you've got to understand is that it isn't what the book costs, it's what it will cost you if you don't read it, okay? Um, you know, I've actually uh, 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 read uh, books that really saved my life and in these books, uh, really books don't cost much, but uh, you know, these days you can go on YouTube and you can uh, really check out what books are about. I mean, if you can't really read the book, then you can go on YouTube and you can figure out, you can, you can learn what that book is about. And if you want more details, then you can actually um, read the actual book. I think it's not important how many books you read in a year or in a month, okay? That's not important. It's also not important um, uh, how fast you read the books. What's important is that you read uh, at least 30 minutes a day to keep it consistent and you are learning every day, okay? Because if you do uh, something, if you do it every day, then you'll actually accumulate and you'll actually gain a lot of knowledge from that. It becomes something that you stack on and so, Remember that it's, uh, you know, the books that you don't read, it won't help you. And the truth is that uh, when you read a book, you have the opportunity to do a lifetime of learning in a matter of hours. Like, you know, when people write books, it's like their life's work inside that book. And they had to go through a lot of life experience. They had to do hours and hours of research and development. More than one person probably read that book and gave them comments 
on how the book should be written so that, uh, so that you know, uh, this book uh, 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 will help other people. And so when you read that book, right, it took many, many years for that book to come to life, but it only takes hours to read that book. It could, and, and again, sometimes it takes days. I understand that. It's okay. But the point is that you need to read books every day in order for you to be able to uh, learn the basic knowledge to take you to the next level. Okay, so remember guys, what are we talking about? We're talking about business starter training. And the first thing you've got to do is to understand that, um, you know, you've got to start reading some books. Okay, so, uh, you know, this is a famous quote uh, by someone very special and that person is me. Okay, yeah, I'm the one that said that when you read a book, you have the opportunity to, to do a lifetime of learning in a matter of hours. Okay. Yeah. And you know, I really hold by this. Um, a lot of people in my group uh, have actually changed their life from reading. I know like people like Carmen who used to not read and now she's really excited in, about reading. She's not excited about reading. She's excited about what she gets from reading. Okay. It's not like, 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 like no one wants to make money. Actually people want to make, make, People want to have whatever they want, whenever they want, wherever they want. So we know that we need money to do that. That's why, that's why, that's why we want money, right? So it's not about reading. It's about learning, okay? And so it's about learning 30 minutes a day in the form of spending time reading a book, okay? So if you guys want to know, like, which books to read, uh, you know, like uh, Ruth was just sharing in the chat that um, there's an app called Blinkist. That's exactly right. Blinkist is a, is a good app where it teaches you, uh, it actually uh, summarizes books uh, and it only has the essence of the book. So you don't necessarily have to read the whole book, but you, should, but you still get the vital information that the book will have, okay? And so reading a book is so important for you to go, for your life to go upward and forward only, okay? So make sure you do this. The second one is to listen or watch audio or video content related to network marketing, okay? Um, so, uh, interesting fact, uh, you know, uh, how much water is, are we made up of our body, you know, and for kids, it's around 75% for, uh, you know, adults, it's around 60%. And for, you know, senior people, it's around 50%. And, you know, uh, because the majority of us is water, uh, when we expose, we, we are highly determined by the, by the environment that we, that we uh, surround ourselves with. So for example, if you see here, I'm showing you a picture of a water crystal and depending on what you say to the water, uh, the water will change its crystal. And like, if you look here, if you say, do it, then, you know, the crystal, it, the water doesn't look so nice. Or if you say, you fool, you know, or if you say war, uh, the water doesn't look so nice. But if you say, let's do it, or thank you, or peace, uh, you can see that the, the crystal, they, they, they become beautiful. And so, uh, you know, it's very important for us to listen or watch audio or video content related to network marketing uh, to motivate you and put you in that right environment to do your work, okay? Because this is the business that we're in. And, uh, we, 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 and physically, from a physical standpoint, it's, it's uh, you know, it, it's proven that uh, it's very important to um, listen or watch audio or video content. That's uh, because of the way we're made up, okay? And this is a quote that I wanna share, which is, you are the master of your destiny. You can influence direct uh, your, you know, your environment and you can make your life uh, what you want it to be, okay? And so the importance of environment is so important. You know, I cannot uh, emphasize this enough. And uh, I want you guys to make sure that uh, when you, uh, when you, when you uh, in, your, in your daily routine, you include this part. Okay, you include this part of listening and watching uh, uh, audio content. The third thing is attend all system training and events. So, uh, you know, one horse, one horse can pull 8,000 pounds, okay? But two horse can actually pull three times as much. And, uh, you know, teamwork is actually so important. Uh, and when you attend all the system training and events, what happens is we come together. We come together and we work as a team and we're able to achieve much more, okay? So make sure you attend all the system training and events 
so that you will be able to. Now remember guys, what are we talking about? We're talking about how to start your business. So if you wanna start your business, you gotta do these things every day. These are things that you do every day, okay? And you attend as much as possible for you to be able to achieve the things that you wanna achieve, okay? Number four is to use all RubyCell products and be a fan. Now, I wanna talk about this. Uh, I don't know how many of you have heard of this guy, the real Padman, okay? Now, uh, I, I, I didn't put his real name, you can go Google it later, but there's actually a movie uh, called uh, uh, Padman, called Padman, okay? And Padman is basically about an uh, Indian guy who, um, so what happened was he's an Indian guy and he's a god, he's married, he's got kids. And uh, what happens is um, his uh, wife and his kids, because uh, he, he's got daughters as well, whenever uh, they would, they would, once a month, they will always avoid him and be very angry with him. And he was wondering, why is it like that? You know, and he tried to figure it out and he realized that it's because it's because it's uh it's uh it's that time of the month you know that's why so you know uh because of that it's the time of the month you know that's why uh, they get angry and so she did a bit of research and found out that um life is actually very tough in india for ladies who go through their period and so what he did was he went on this mission to create oh and and, and you're probably wondering why don't they just go by and why don't they just go and buy pads well Pads are very expensive in India. And so people can't really afford those pads that we use in Malaysia or developed countries. And so this guy, this guy, this movie is about this guy in India. True story. It's about this guy who goes on this mission on developing pads that are cheap and, uh, and Indian people can't afford and use. And he goes through this journey of there's this part where he needs to test his pads, right? But the problem is he doesn't have his period, okay? I just gotta check, yeah. And so he, 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 you know, he, he doesn't have his period, you know, obviously, because he's a man, right? So he doesn't have any period. So what he does is he, he wears the pad himself and he pees in it uh, to see whether it's effective. Like, is it comfortable? Does it soak up all the liquid, blah, 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 blah. And unfortunately, what happens is his wife leaves him his whole family leaves him because it's a woman thing, right? And, and, and in that Indian culture, it's a taboo. Cut a long story short, he becomes really famous in India. He, of course, he became rich, but he, be, he becomes so famous in India uh, for creating this pad which anyone can afford in India. And the point I'm trying to make is he did it all by trying the product himself, okay? So it's so important for us to use all Rubicell products and be a fan if you want to do the RubyCell business. I mean, it's really simple. This guy uh, is also another guy who uh, is also another guy where uh, he, uh, he's the found, he's actually not the founder of McDonald's, but if you watch the movie, The Founder, which is also another movie about a true story about, you know, this about McDonald's. Uh, it talks about how he came across this McDonald's business model. And he was so obsessed with it because it solved his own problem of um, food, about, uh, about fast service and, uh, and et cetera, et cetera. So he was also very obsessed about this business model and that's how he was able to build this McDonald's franchise. So this is another example of a person who was able to do the business successfully because he used all of his product, which is in his case is eat McDonald's and be a fan, okay? Now, can anyone guess who the next person is going to be? Any guess? Okay, any guess? Yes, that's right. The next person is none other than our Miss Park. You know, this is the, one of the latest photos that she took. Okay, this is like, like a week ago, I think, or two weeks ago. Uh, what's the date today? Today is 24th of April, 2020, just for the just for record. And you look at this photo, she is 50. She is 50. She's either 50 or she's turning 50, something like that, okay? And she is a firm believer. She's a firm user of RubyCell. And it's a real testament to how RubyCell can really make you younger and younger uh, the longer you use it. I mean, she's the longest user of RubyCell officially, you know? And um, it's, just, it's just a real testament to, you know, 
how effective the products uh, are. And you don't need, she doesn't even need to, you know, when I was a silver and a gold and when Miss, uh, Miss Park used to help me do sponsorship, um, I'll do, it, it, our sponsorship meeting is very simple. Step one, bring Miss Park, show her face. Step two, I tell them what the product is. Step three, close the sale. That was, you know, that was, that was my SOP when it came to doing sponsorship meeting, you know? Yeah. Okay. So, so remember guys, use all Ruby Cell products and be a fan. That's number four. Number five, approach three people a day and manage 15 to 25 customers. Three, now let's do some math here, okay? Don't get scared just because we got some numbers, okay? I know some of you don't like math, but you know, we need a bit of mathematics in our life, okay? And uh, you know when we have three, we, 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 when we approach three people a day and there's 30 days in a month, that's 90 people. 90 people times 12 months is 1,080 people, okay? So, you know, uh, just by looking at this, you know that if you just stick to approaching three people a day, uh, then you will be able to have enough name lists to follow up and follow through, uh, and which is another topic. But uh, you know, the point is you need to have, you need to be able to approach people uh, three, and you need to have a minimum number of people you approach every day so that uh, you have the, the large numbers so that you can uh, constantly have a name list to recycle. And some of you are probably asking, I don't know how to approach people or I approach people, but they don't respond the way I want to. Well, the answer is the answer to these questions are already in these books. Okay. The first one is the secret. The second one is how to win friends and influence people. Anyone who has read these books will tell you that these books have changed your life. It has definitely changed my life. I have a friend. Uh, he's, I have a friend, an Australian friend. I just casually told him about this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And in three months, um, in three months, uh, his wife's uh, parents uh, were saved from a divorce. I mean, that's how powerful this, 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 uh, this book is. And it's changed a lot of people's. I'm telling you, you have to read this book um, if you want to know how to just approach people, manage people, talk to people, connect with people. It's so important, especially in RubyCell, okay? And so, uh, uh, so the last thing I want to say here, it's not that we don't have people, it's we don't take action. Actually, that's so true. Um, if, you read, if you don't know how to approach people, you read this book. If you, know to, if you approach people, but you're not getting the response, you read um, this, this other book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Make sure you approach three people a day and manage, make sure you're managing 15 to 25 customers a day. See, so once you, once you approach three people a day and you've got enough numbers, you really need to start managing 15 to 25 customers. And managing, and that seems like a lot, 15 to 25, but it's as simple as, hey, how's it going? How's the product going? Um, like, 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 like for me, later I'm gonna show you uh, what my day looks like, you know, so stay tuned for that. But, uh, you know, it becomes very natural to, 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 be, to be talking to more than 15 to 25 people a day. Um, and the managing customers can be anywhere between talking about how to use the product um, how to do the business, inviting them to an event, whatever it is, okay? So as a rule, make sure you're approaching three people a day, and managing 15 to 25 customers. If you're not approaching three people a day or managing 15 to 25 customers, uh, it's gonna take longer for you to get results. And you might not even get that kind of results that you're expecting, okay? So make sure you do this, guys. So the sixth one is, have regular counseling with relevant sponsors and partners. What this means is uh, have a regular conversation and make it a point to have meetings with the person who brought you to the business or the person who is leading you in the business because the person who brought you into the business may not necessarily be the person who you're looking, looking up to um, to do the Ruby Cell business. Uh, and also you need to make sure that you spend time with your partners, the people who you brought, who brought into the business um, uh, uh, so that, you know, uh, when, we, when we spend time with each other, we're able to uh, share the energy together. And you know, sometimes um, uh, when, we, when our fire dies out, we really need to spend time with other people who have fire so that we are able to light each other's fire. It's so important for us to do this. Um, actually, another photo that I should have put here is a bunch of matchsticks put together, which will have an even bigger fire. But, uh, you know, it's so important for us to actually spend time with other people, uh, especially the people who are doing the business together with us, 
and especially people who are very motivated and driven because they're gonna keep our fire lit, okay? So make sure that uh, number six, if you wanna start your business, make sure you make it a point to spend time with the people who brought you into the business um, or people who, who you look up to in the business. Got it? Okay, so the next one is build rapport with those you would like to recruit eventually. Now, what does rapport mean? Rapport, what rapport? What does rapport mean? Okay, rapport in Google, if you see here, means a close, close, harmonious relationship in which the people or groups concerned understand each other, understand each other's feelings or ideas and communicate well, okay? Do you guys understand that? Okay, so, so a, there's a whole bunch of action words here, okay? Close, harmonious, relationship, understand each other's feeling, idea, and communicate. This is rapport, okay? And when you build rapport, there's actually uh, different levels, okay? Notice this looks like a pyramid too. You know, everything's a pyramid. Anyways, so you see, the, 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 in, the, in, in, the, in the steps, the first step is to get acquainted, meaning, to make contact, approach, okay? Then the second one is sharing in facts and information, like, oh, you know, how old are you, where you come from, what background, what country you're born from, whatever. And then you start sharing ideas, and then you start sharing emotions, and that is where rapport building is done, okay? So you may have people who you want to recruit uh, online and offline, and a lot of people, maybe we approach by saying, hey, you know, are you interested in, uh, you know, becoming younger, uh, uh, that's already going into a uh, rapport, you know, uh, or going to sharing of ideas. You should really start with the process of building up this pyramid so that you're able to build rapport with the person. And eventually, if you have here, remember, close harmonious relationship concern each other's feelings and ideas. So communicate well. So if that's happening, if the rapport is building and you're actually connecting with other people, then you can start sharing information, sharing ideas, sharing emotions. And this is not a one-day thing, guys, okay? This is something that you do every day. Remember, we're doing business starter training, and the seventh thing you've got to do every day is to build rapport, and you've got to do that with people you want to recruit on a more long-term basis so that you can recruit the people you want to recruit, okay? Uh, in a world of algorithms, hashtags, and followers, know the true importance of human connection. So, you know, I mean, I keep telling people to go online and, you know, we should have our online presence and all those kinds of things. But at the end of the day, uh, uh, that's only the first level, okay? What people really want is they want to know how much you care. Only when they know how much you care, they know, they want to know how much you know, okay? They only care how much you know, okay? So make sure that, make sure that you spend time every day building rapport, okay? The eighth thing is manage your social media, okay? So I wanna share with you this particular information. This is from the Global Web Index quarter three, 2019. Okay, so this is um, the last three months of last year, okay? And if you look at this, the, on average, on average, people spend six hours and 43 minutes every day online. Do you understand what I mean? People, on average, people spend six hours and 43 minutes online. Okay. What's even more interesting is that Malaysia spends more than the world average, which is seven hours and 57 minutes online. Interesting, right? Grace, I can see, I saw that, you know, very interesting. Yeah. And so, you know, what this means is Oh, and what I didn't add here is that there are a three point, three point something billion people uh, using social media, okay? So when people come and tell me I don't have any people, I'm like, and when, when I tell people write 100 name list or come up with 100, one, the 3.8 billion. Have, did you try writing billion before with a, with a pen and paper? Some of you are asking me, Billion or how many zeros are? I mean, like, th that's so many people, you know? Now, how many people out of that many billion people heard about Ruby Cell? Heard about you? You know, there's so much opportunity out there, and I cannot stress enough um, if you just spend the time every day, okay, to 
try to meet people online. And meeting people online is not new, okay? Some of you watch the movie um, Sleepless in Seattle or You've Got Mail or you know, these kinds of uh, movies, very old movies. Um, people have been dating and getting married online, like forever, okay? So uh, meeting people online and doing business with people online is not new, okay? So make sure that you don't um, be scared about this, okay? All right, got it? So those are the eight steps, okay? So if you want to, this, this video is recorded. So if you want to go through the, the eight steps again, you want any of the resources that I shared here, uh, make sure you watch our YouTube video because they will be on, it will, this video will be on YouTube. Okay, yeah? So I bet all of you are wondering what my life looks like. I took this photo yesterday or day before, something like that. I was in the grocery store and I thought it'd be interesting to share with you guys what my life looks like, okay? Uh, would you like to know what my life looks like? Yeah? Okay, great. So this is my schedule, okay? This is what my life looks like. You need to understand something, guys. Uh, I'm 33 years old. Uh, I'm gonna confess to you guys, I don't wake up early. I, I, I try very hard to wake up early, but I, I, I can't seem to do it. Um, and this is my, and don't judge me, okay? This is my honest, authentic, this is what I do uh, on an average day. It will change from time to time, but this is what I do on an average day. Okay, very average day, okay? I'm not working too hard, I'm not working too soft, very average day in Johan's life. Sometimes I'll work nonstop throughout the day, like, to, you know, like today, or sometimes I'll work less, okay? So you can see, you know, I wake up in the morning, I mean, yeah, let's just quickly go through this. Uh, uh, I wake up in the morning, I get two cups of coffee, um, and then I meditate on clarity for the day, months, three months. I do this every day, okay? This is very important for me to be focused. I have a small group accountable meeting. Okay, honestly, I just started this, but it's important that I do this. Uh, it's basically with uh, Nigel, Adrian, Wangkwan, and Irvine. You know, we basically talk to each other, tell, her, tell each other we're working. Um, and this is during MCO, okay? So this is like an MCO schedule, so I'm at home. Um, I check and reply my WhatsApp and email, do some minor admin work. Now, see, notice that I allocate time to reply WhatsApp and email because I got to do my actual work also, okay? Then I like, uh, yeah, okay, this is important. Like and comment people on my list of people to do, to recruit. Actually, by doing this, this alone, right, I actually got a lot of people in my, net, my network, my people, my friends, to be interested in what I'm doing, okay? Just by liking and commenting on other people's uh, Facebook. Yeah, so that's like really important. Um, then I spend time studying on other people's social media. At 12.30, I have two cups of coffee again. And then, uh, you know, I, I'm, yeah, so this is like yesterday. I did my BSD slides, you know, did a bunch of work. I take a nap, and then I, you know, uh, and then I check my email. I do small, and then I finish at about eight. Okay, eight to two. I. So this is what my daily life looks like. I'm sharing this with you because some of you are thinking, uh, Joe, you don't need to tell me what to do every day. But some of you are like, Oh, okay. I mean, some of pe some like some some people like come up to me and ask me like, Joe, I want you, I want to know what you do every hour. So I'm like, okay, uh, if that's what you want to know, this is what I do every hour. Okay. Um, I didn't put my, you know, uh, uh, but this is generally what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, there you have it. Okay. So how does my working place look like? So I'm going to show you what my working place looks like. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you my... Oh, and just, just, just to be clear, I, I mean, I'm not wearing a suit or I'm in very, you know, like very, this is, don't judge, okay? Don't judge. This is very raw. Uh, it's MCO time, you know, so I'm being very honest, but this is me, okay? I, I, and, and I'm showing this to you because it's not like, wow, like, wow, I got to do super extreme, what? It's about consistency, doing that thing, what you need to do every day. Okay, consistency every day. It's got to be a part of you, okay? Buddha, very, very, very consistent, okay? Every day, do every day, okay? So don't judge, okay? Yeah, okay. Office, my home office. My home office is my house. Um, so this is my, uh, my desk. Uh, maybe I'll just, uh, yeah, so this is my desk. Chair, I've got two chairs. I've got two screens. I've got two lights. These are good for uh, for meetings, and uh, you know uh, I've got some got some stuff here. Um, these are my table, and uh, why have I got two screen? I've got two screen because 
Uh, you know, when you, when you, these days, I spend a lot of time in front of a computer, obviously, because you can't really go anywhere. And uh, once for, you know, I mean, you just, you just gotta, when you're, when you're multitasking, when you're doing a few things at once, you just suck. Just need a few screens. So, yeah. And I've got the lights because that, that, that light makes you look really good when you, when you do Zoom meetings. You know? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, so you need lights. You need good lights. Um, so, uh, today I got another meeting. Um, so I gotta, I gotta do my hair eventually, which is, again, out of control. But, uh, what can I do? Right. Just do the, do the best. And uh, this setup, this setup has actually been Im improved quite a lot since the MCO because, you know, I again, as I said, what I gotta do whatever it takes to, to make it happen. I can't just can't just do nothing, right? So yeah. Okay, guys. So uh, I have done my hair. It's not the best, but it's um, better than before. And I put on a jacket so that I look decent in the video so um, yeah I mean the setup looks like you know looks like this so the setup looks like got some lights yeah so let's get right into this uh, this meeting yeah okay so I showed you that video to tell you that Johan does not live in a temple and works like 16 hours a day. And uh, you know, I mean, that's, that's so not who I am, okay? I'm, this is like really like, and I showed you my before and after, you know? Be, and now you see me on Zoom, like I look, I think I look awesome, like on this camera like this right now, you know? Like, I mean, but everything's set up, you know, so that I look pretty good. Um, uh, but you know, this is, this is me. This is what I'm doing every day. You know, this is my MCO and I make sure I get those things done. Those eight things that I talked about, go back to the video, those eight things. That's what I do, you know, every day. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, I want to quickly go through this. This is what I ask myself every day. Okay. So, um, uh, uh, you know, I, I've got the, the answers and questions here. And it's very simple. And if some of you are asking me, like, what do I meditate about? What do I, what do I ask myself? It's these things, okay? Uh, so uh, what is the message for myself today? One thing I can get excited about today is, you know, a situation that might distract me from my work. I'm gonna ask these questions. You can write this down. You can ask yourself these questions first thing in the morning before you do your work. And then you do the eight things that you're meant to do, okay? So if you want that, you can screenshot that and you can use it for yourself, okay? Okay, so. That's the end of the, um, of the uh, BST, okay? Uh, before, before I move on, okay? Uh, before I move on, let's just choose a nice slide here. Okay, now, I'm just gonna stop sharing this. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hear from some people who did their social media and they were able to get uh, customers online. And I want to I wanna introduce some people. Now, there are some people who I'm going to introduce who have done social media for a while and they're getting results. And I'm going to share with you someone who's not that active, but he also managed to get results. And I'm going to share with you one person who started social media in the beginning of MCO and she got results, okay? So the first person that I'm going to introduce is uh, Carmen. Carmen uh, joined us, uh, what is it like, I don't know, six months to nine months now, you know, close to a year. And, uh, you know, Carmen uh, has been doing social media very actively. I would say that she's an influencer. I think she's an influencer, you know, and, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, when, when, when she does her posts online, she, um, she's, I mean, they look really good, you know, and, uh, I will, uh, you know, I'm going to do like a interview kind of thing with her. And she's going to talk to me. So uh, maybe, Nigel, could you unmute this uh, Carmen for us, please? Am I able to unmute her? I can't unmute her. So, Nigel, could you unmute Carmen for me, please? Nigel. Hello, Carmen. Uh, hello. Hi, yeah. Carmen. Hello. Hi, Carmen. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I'm going to ask you some questions and then you can just answer those questions, okay? Okay. 
So, uh, I mean, I know it's a bit awkward to ask, to ask this question, but I'm going to ask you anyways. Um, mm. How long have you been doing <clears throat> social media for, actually? Like, actively? Actively for about four months. Four months, okay. So, yeah. uh, actively, well, this is for RubyCell, right? But before that, you were also active in social media, but not RubyCell, right? Yeah, 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 correct. Yeah, but you know, you do like your fashion stuff or maybe your photography or yeah. whatever. I mean, you've got your thing, right? Going on. Yeah, correct, correct. Yeah. So, uh, you, I mean, I, I would consider you someone who's already, or who's already been active in social media before RubyCell. Mm -hmm. So, you have like yes. this thing going on. Like, you've got a schedule and you know how to edit photos and things like that, you know? Yeah. So, uh, then you did RubyCell and then you started to do social media for RubyCell. Um, yes. How do you go about doing that? Do you just post about products or do you post about the business or what do you do actually? Um, basically, uh, if people who already know me for a while, usually uh, when I first posted, I, I remember that time I decided to post is during the AfroZone 7th anniversary. So oh, that okay. was the time I made the decision. That then I feel like, ago. oh, yeah. yeah. And I feel like this product should should let the whole world know. I, I should let the whole world know about this product and about the anniversary. Everything is so amazing. Mm. And then I like to do sharing. So when I first I, I when I first just decided to share, right, I actually in my head I was like, okay, how should I share it to make it um, you know, like it's 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 easy to watch for everyone and also easy to understand for everyone and also they don't feel pressure when they watch my story. So the first thing I share is actually my own testimonial. I just share oh, okay. my own testimonial of the product. How how you changed using the product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like before uh, okay, and okay. after. Yeah. Yeah. So that means if you if you want to share um your testimonial, you would have to get results for yourself first, right? Even before yes, you correct. talk about social media. Yes. Right? Yes, okay. yes, yes. So that's yes. important. Okay. And so you shared about your transformation. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So I share about my transformation. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, how many how many sales have you done online actually since you started? I think I can say about 30. Around 30, 30 sales, right? Yeah. And do they usually contact you or do you usually contact them? Um, or is it 50-50? 50-50. In the, in the beginning, I think more, more is like they approach me. 80% they approach me, 20% I approach others. Mm. So when they approach you, how do they, why do you think they approach you? Because a lot of people are like, huh, you know, no one approaches me, you know, uh, you know, it's because a common looks so beautiful. That's why people approach common. I mean, this is what people are thinking right now, you know? So what do oh. you have to say to these people who, who, who are thinking that right now yeah, in their heads? Oh, okay. Honestly, I think uh, for now, most of my, my sales, the set I sold, usually people approach me not because of my face, but because of my consistency posting on social media regarding Ruby Cell testimonial. Ah, so and, consistency mm, sharing uh, Ruby Cell testimonial. Yeah, and then okay. most of them Important. always let me know. They always tell me, in the beginning, I will also always ask them, actually, what makes you to contact me? Um, did you like Google, Google it up or things like that? You then they will them. say something... Mm, I asked them okay. directly yeah, I, okay. because I'm, okay. I'm, I'm kind of curious like how, why, why did they want to approach me? Because I feel like, don't you think a bit pressure when you want to DM me? Then they say, yeah, that's why I wait until today only I DM you. You get what I mean? They will wait mm. for the right timing. They yeah. will say something like, I have watched you for a while already. I think could be, some people, they watch me for like two weeks or even months. So they saw the results uh, and then they saw how passionate I am in sharing Ruby Cell. They can see the, I didn't even say myself, I didn't even tell them I'm very passionate about this business, but they just tell me themselves because through my story, they can already feel it. Like, they can feel it. I'm very, you know, I'm, 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 I really love this product and I really want to share with everyone. Mm. Yeah, this is the thing they feel about. So, 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 uh, this is very important. Um, people, the, the chance of someone seeing you the first time and they contact you right away, actually, that never happens. It, it's usually they watch you for two weeks or a month. And then they, they, they get a feel for who you are, like your passion, and then they contact you. Is this what you're trying to say? Uh, in the beginning, when people, yes, actually, if you say people who, when they saw the testimonial directly contact me and directly close the sales, I can say it's like 5% only. Not 5 many people only. do that that yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the majority is, they've seen you for a while, actually, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I know it's an obvious question, but for people to be able to see you for a while, 
um, you have to upload content for a while. I mean, I know it's obvious, yes. but that, it's like that, right? I mean, if you don't upload consistently for a while, people can't see you for a while. Yeah. That's how it works. That's logically, mm -hmm. that's how it works. So, okay, that's All good. Right. So uh, uh, now, not right now, I mean, uh, later if you can share your, um, your Instagram uh, uh, ID in the chat, you know, yeah, sure. you could do that so mm -hmm. that other people can learn from you. Uh, okay, sure. So are you still doing this strategy of uh, sharing your testimony? Is this what you're still doing every day? Yeah, I still do this every day. Sometimes I don't share my own testimony. I also share people around me or people who I know already or people who are already my, my clients or even my friends. So actually, it's very important when people approach you and then it's very important you ask them why they contact you and then you know what is their problem. So when mm. you know, you know you have that mind, that kind of mindset, you, you already know, oh, my followers, or oh, most of them having acne problems and most of them also act having, you know, they want to reverse aging and all these things. So usually I will focus on, I, I intentionally post this kind of testimonial more and more. Instead yeah. of, yeah, yeah, you get what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Understand. Like, meaning, meaning like after you do your social media a while, you realize mm. that, hey, actually the majority of my customers are either interested in acne or reverse mm. aging. I mean, you, you, yeah. you identify what their actual concerns are and then you, you change your social media to focus on, on, the, on who your 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 followers target market are. Yeah. yeah target market yeah right okay yeah. okay that's Correct. so important yeah Carmen thank you so much for your sharing okay you're welcome yeah okay thank you so much okay if you want to check her out then please uh, Carmen Lim K M Carmen Lim K M yeah Instagram okay okay thank you so much. Uh, so that's common, guys. Um, she's been doing social media a while. Uh, I can honestly say that you know she's got a bit of skill. Let's talk to uh, someone who uh, has never done social media before. Okay, um, Adrian and Mac, we're gonna do uh, Mac first. Okay, so uh, this is a person that has never done, or not never done, but she she's got a Facebook account, she's got an Instagram account, but she really took her business online. She started uh, uh, her social media officially with Ruby Cell in the beginning of MCO. That's right. She started when MCO started. So it's not long ago. She is not like, you know, common. So uh, her name is Mac. Mac, are you there? Maybe you can... can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, very good. So Mac, uh, Mac's uh, internet, uh, I hope it's going to be okay. So um, I'm just going to talk for Mac, okay? Because I had a conversation with her before this uh, 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 video. And... Uh, Mac has started before, uh, she started sharing also about RubyCell, the product. She also shared about how the product does lymphatic drainage. And, uh, you know, she's been sharing about many, many things. And she's been sharing every day, okay? And I want to share with you guys this particular photo where she actually uh, managed to close, she managed to recruit someone in the U.S. today, okay? And this is from someone who has who haven't done social media until the beginning of MCO. And really goes to show how, if you just follow the principle which I mentioned, the eight steps uh, of being consistent about building rapport, um, posting things online, you know, really putting yourself out there online, then you'll be able to see, like you see this, uh, you know, you see this customer, uh, you can't see the name, but you know, I register now, she goes online and then she registers online in the US. And for those of you wondering, yes, you can recruit people online in US. Um, if you're interested, you can do that. So I just wanted to share with you guys that testimony from Mac, who started social media just at the beginning of MCO. That's like, what, a month and a half, you know? Yeah, so that's Mac, okay? Uh, the last person I'm going to share is uh, Adrian. Uh, Adrian, you're there, right? Hello, yeah, can so, you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. So Adrian is... Uh, 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 he's uh, he's like a part-time model, okay? So you're probably thinking like, oh, come on, Joe. I'm not a model. How can you possibly ask me to get the kind of attention Adrian does? But but even though Adrian's a model, he's not like that out, that, that like super outgoing and like, you know, I mean, he's got nice photos on his Instagram. Um, I think it looks a bit girly, but whatever. You know, I mean, some people like it. I'm just joking, okay? So, but, 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 but what's important is, um, Adrian, you actually recruited someone uh, uh, through your Instagram, right? 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and that person is Nicole, who is also in this uh, training today. Yeah, hi Nicole. Yeah, hi Nicole. Yes, yeah. And I, oh yeah, just I I we we Nicole actually has also has a very interesting Instagram profile. She has a very unique way of doing Ruby Cell online. Um, uh, uh, maybe uh, Nicole and Adrian, you can share your Instagram later in in the chat. But uh, Adrian, can you just uh, describe how you recruited Nicole online? What, what was that process? What did you post? Who contacted who? How did you say it? And what happened? Can you just share with us? Uh, yeah, sure. No, no problem. Uh, so. Um, during that time, it was actually my first time doing social media for Ruby Cell. And that time, Carmen, had, Carmen hasn't even started. No, I, I didn't know anyone that did uh, social media for Ruby, Ruby Cell yet. Yep. So it was my first time posting. And what I posted was actually a story. Uh, and it was targeted for, because I was looking for a younger, like younger kind of people. So yep. it, I created a post, an Instagram story, uh, stated looking for young entrepreneurs. And then I included keywords like things like uh, pioneering in stem cell industry, um, uh, able to scale your business, able to maximize your income, things like that, attractive yep. things like that. Yep. And along with that, I also posted uh, pictures of myself when I was in Korea in our Afrozone Korean office. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, and then she contacted you, right? Yeah. So Nicole contacted me. Uh -huh. So uh, maybe a bit of backstory. Uh, me and Nicole, our relationship, we actually knew each other from primary school. Uh, okay? okay, primary school, but actually even during primary school, we weren't that close. Okay. I mean, we, we know each other, but we weren't even, weren't even that close. Okay, yeah. so after primary school, that was like 12, and then I didn't really see her for about 10 years. Mm. Yeah, so actually I was quite surprised when she actually uh, contact, approached me. So yeah. what she said was, actually she said the reason she uh, was interested is because she was planning to start her master's in uh, business. Yeah, yeah, and she, because she wanted to start her studies, she was she was also looking for something flexible that she oh. can do while studying. Did you know this about Nicole before you? Uh, she approached you. Uh no. You no the, idea, I, right? No, no. What, 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 what? Then how come Nicole, of all people, of all things she can do, how come she? Uh, what? Which post was it? What were you talking about in that post that you? Uh, that, such that Nicole contacted you? Uh, I think uh, for Nicole's part, because I also discussed this with Nicole be, uh, in the past before, I, yeah. I also asked her. So for her, actually, it was just a really good timing. It mm. was really good timing for her. And also, uh, just because that time, before she wanted to start her master, she was actually working. She was mm. already working. Mm. Uh, that time, she was working for also a social, she, she was also doing social media marketing, yeah. but she was working full time. Yeah. So she was contemplating. So she, when she decided to go, go study, uh, actually she, she cannot continue her social media because that's full time. So she's mm. looking for something part time. So at that point, it was just like she told me, it's just so happens that she saw my story uh, for business opportunity. And I also mentioned things, I think I, think I also mentioned things like uh, part time, flexible working out, these ah, kind of things. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, yeah. I think that's what got her yeah. interested. So, so you know, uh, guys, uh, what I wanted to highlight here is that uh, Adrian's posts are more business oriented. You know, Carmen and uh, Mac is more uh, is more uh, product uh, and result. You know, transformation. So Adrian, you know, being a guy and you know, he also joined not so much because of the product, but because of the business opportunity. And uh, you know, uh, by 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 doing those kinds of posts, uh, he was able to recruit someone. Okay, Adrian, thank you so much for your for your sharing. Okay, so guys, uh, that is the sharing of three people who were able to do their business online. As I said, all three of these people, you can talk to them individually. They go through the eight steps every day. If you stick to the eight steps, trust me, you will get results, okay? And it's a bit difficult in the beginning, but after you're able to get it to become a part of you, uh, your, your, your business will only go upward and forward because you're already, you already have the success habit. You're doing what you, should do every day as a habit. And when you do, when you have successful habits, then you become a success, okay? All right, so we're gonna quickly go through the compensation plan because I taught you what to do every day and uh, I already taught you uh, what, what your day ideally should look like. What do we exactly do? What is our goal? The goal is very simple. It's very easy, okay? Say it with me. It's very easy, okay, now, uh, let's look at this.
Okay, so if you, if you, uh, most of you, okay, uh, okay, so most of us start as an agent silver or sometimes a gold, okay, and I quickly want to go through this. Uh, when you start, uh, we ideally would have bought a 4,300 starter kit, a ringgit starter kit, and you would have 800,000 PV for that, okay, and then you become an agent. And if you, you know, if you buy a silver, a silver set, then you have 1.6 million PV and you become a silver. And to become a gold, you need to have 3.2 million in one line, 1.6 million in another line, and 3.2 million in another line, okay? So, I mean, for, for, for those of you who don't know what, what's going on, you don't even know what, 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 what we're talking about, let's forget this for now, okay? Uh, but how to make, this is what I want to explain to you, how to make 5,000 ringgit in a month with Ruby Cell. 5,000, you know, some of you are thinking, eh, you know, I make way more than that in a month. And some of you are thinking like, oh yeah, that would be good, you know. 5,000, it's not about whether it's big or not big, but it's a good start to your Ruby Cell business. And how do you do that? Okay, what's your actual goal? Goal number one, introduce three friends, okay? Uh, uh, introduce three, three friends to try Ruby Cell and help them become beautiful, okay? Three, you're looking for three people who will join you, okay? That's the goal, okay? You approach three people a day, you manage 15 to 25 customers, you do your social media, you read your book, blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, you're looking for three people, three, okay? Three people to Samyang. Uh, in Korean, it's 세 명. 세 명. 찾는 게임이에요. Doing for three people a day, okay? So three people who are going to buy the agent set 4,300 ringgit. So when, whenever you find a person to buy the 4,300 ringgit uh, set, you make 150 ringgit, okay? And there's no time limit to when you need to do this. Um, you just got to eventually get that. Every time you recruit someone, you make 1,500 bucks per, uh, per agent set, okay? Now, If you introduce three friends within two weeks, okay, within two weeks, meaning in a term, instead of 150, you make 470 ringgit, okay, per person, okay? So 470 times three is 1,400 ringgit. So if you can do it faster, then you actually get to make more money, okay? And once you find three people, then you become a silver, okay? And if once you become a silver, what you do is you get these people to find another three people, okay? And silvers, the benefit of a silver is every time you make a sale of an agent, instead of 100 and, remember, normally it's 150, but now you're a silver, so you get to make, uh, if it says 469 here, but it's actually 470 ringgit, okay? Per agent that you recommend, okay? After you do this, and remember guys, everyone is doing the same thing, just finding three people. These people, you, you found three people and this person found three people. After, once there are three goals on the indirect, what happens is once you have, once you're a goal and you have three like this, right? Then you make 313 ringgit per set. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, okay, you make nine, nine times three lines, it's 8,000 8, ringgit here, okay? And you'll also be entitled to a monthly gold bonus of 1,500 ringgit. So, this is actually, uh, there's a lot of details here which we didn't cover, but basically it's about just finding three people, okay? That's the most important concept that I need you to understand. Just find three people and help other people find three people and you'll be able to get this kind of income of making around 5,000 ringgit a month, okay? So just find three people. It's very simple. After you find the three people, ask your leaders what to do next and they will be able to guide you to do the next part, okay? As you continue this process, you will eventually find, so everyone, when everyone finds three people, so we call this three, three, three. When you continue to find three people to buy the agent set, eventually you will become an emerald and you'll be making 20,000 ringgit and above with a base of agents under you, okay? And it's just everyone finding three people. It's not you finding a bunch of people, okay? It's just everyone finding three people and you'll be able to make the money, okay? For those of you doing the business. This is my last slide, guys. Why you should start now? Well, 
our company is gonna become 10 years old in the year 2022. We are a stem cell company. The future is stem cell. Imagine there was no iPhone or no Alibaba or no Facebook and knowing what you know, someone came to you with the idea of Facebook or Instagram. What would you do? Of course, you would, you would join them, right? Or at least you would buy shares with whatever money you've got or you get involved because you know it's going to be the next big thing. It's too late to do Facebook or Instagram now because it's already passed, okay? So what we've got to do is I, I ask ourselves, what is going to be the next big thing? The next big thing is stem cell and our company is at the heart of it. We've got all the infrastructure available. We are the only network company with the stem cell infrastructure in the world, okay? And it's a, it's, it's a network marketing. What that means is your, if you start the business when the wave is here, meaning if you start the business when the technology is already available in 2022, it's too late because it takes time to build your net. Someone asked me, why do we need to uh, start this business now? Well, we need to do it now because it takes time. It takes time to build a business. It takes time to build a passive income. It takes time to, you know, uh, be able to do what you love, make the money uh, uh, passively, and be able to really serve the people that you want to serve. So you need to make sure that you start now. Those eight steps, the compensation plan. I mean, you know, I know that a lot of you guys have a lot of questions still, you know, and this is one hour. And I, I you know, I don't want to bore you guys by having any longer than that, but you need to spend the time every day consistently to learn more and more and you need to start that process now that's the point you know and you know get get those eight steps down get those um get that compensation plan down okay for you to be able to uh for you to be able to understand how the business works and uh make sure that you are not too late in missing the wave okay now uh what we're gonna do now is that you know that's pretty much it for bst guys uh, thank you for coming to BST today. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, Nigel, if you can stop the recording, okay, and uh, maybe we can uh, take some uh, questions, okay? Can you make a new recording for us? Maybe we can uh, stop the recording. Nigel, are you there? Nigel, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, Nigel. Yes, stop, yes. Stop, so stop the recording. Okay, stop the recording.